The Wind Passed Through Wyoming and Held Your Name by Corey Collins. On a Wednesday night, they found you, tied to a two-post fence on a two-rutted road, your straw-colored hair painted red, your body stuffed with swallowed blood. Your body, unmoving, barely held together, so broken and still, the passing cyclist, struggling through the deep sand, nearly mistook you for an effigy. But you drew breath and kept the birds at bay. I wonder if you held on to life so that you could breathe in to the wind, the wind that connects all the funny children, the beat of their own drum children, the wind we breathe in at birth and excel in the exact moment we are reminded of what we are, the wind that Rebecca White felt on Dead Woman's Hollow before five bullets hurt her lover, before the seventh bullet hit her liver, the wind that cooled the concrete on a summer night in Jackson Heights, where three skinheads brought a hammer to a schoolyard, where Julio Rivera took his last. The wind passed through Wyoming and held your name. We still hear it through the sows of the tree, us children still standing in the forest where there's, those trees fall but don't always make noise. The wind left your lips, Hope Crow, and caressed cheeks that should have been kissed. I hope that Billy Jack, Steen Fenrick, Fred Martinez, Gwen Araujo, Sakia Gunn, Scotty Joe Weaver, Lawrence King, Angie Zapata, Paige Clay, Giovanni Melton, and her, and him, and them, and them, and them. Breathe in the love you whispered into the wind before breathing out life and passing it on. Like a love note signed by those who hope their name is the last. And I dream that you will rise again from the ashes of the upstairs lounge, that you will breathe again through the pulse's bullet holes, your own heartbeat restored, and allowed to love untethered, where there are no fences. Google them, write their names in stone, and trace them. Hold the wind inside your hands and embrace them.